Hey guys, it's Dana from the Dow of Dana, and as I'm packing to move, last video on the roof, almost, I think, might be one more, but close to the last video on the roof as I get ready to pack and move, and as I've been doing all this, I've been thinking a whole lot about transitions and moving and changing things and what it means and what it takes, and one of the things that I've realized is that in the past, when I really wanted to leave somewhere, I would just check out. So before I leave, whether it's a place that I was living or a relationship or anything, beforehand I would just kind of check out. And I think you know what I mean. You're just kind of going through the motions and you're not really sure what to do or what's the right thing to do and you don't want to stay but you don't want to go yet and you're in this weird place where you just check out. And then, when you decide you want to leave, you just go. And the problem with doing those two things, checking out and then just kind of leaving, is that the tendency is, and I've seen this, I've talked to lots of people about it in the last few weeks, when you start doing that, the tendency is to kind of repeat the same thing over and over and over again, and then the process, feel less and less and less good about what you're doing each time. because you don't really have a lot of pride in what you're doing. You don't really leave things better than when you found them. And you kind of feel like you're just going from one thing to the next. That's the same, same, same. And in essence, you're sort of creating that because you've chosen, I've chosen to check out, not deal with things, and then just leave. And the more you do that, the more that pattern becomes a very self-fulfilling prophecy. You start just living life checked out, waiting for the next thing, and always kind of ping-ponging through life, not really making the best of what's in front of you. So even if you want to leave where you are, even if you're in the middle of a transition, even if you're not that excited about what's in front of you, if you want to leave, leave in a way that leaves things better than when you started. That is my suggestion for you. That's what I'm doing in my apartment right now. <laughs> that is what I have been doing in everything is trying to leave things better than when I started. Because at the very least, even if it's not for me, my time was not in vain. I left something better than when I got there. So that requires staying present. That requires doing all you can with what you have. And that requires not just fleeing at the first sign of wanting to flee, you might actually find, as I've found many times, that when you actually show up and do these things, you don't want to leave right away. You find a lot of good things about where you are, and when you are actually ready to go or grow into a new thing, it's better than what it was before. It's not the same or worse, which tends to happen when you just kind of let go. I'm done with this. I'm out of here. So idea for the day, leave things better, leave everything you can better for you having been there. Leave things better than when you got there. Leave a legacy, leave a mark, leave greatness. Even if you don't like it, leave it better than before. And if that's the standard you set for your life, things tend to always get better and better and better and better and better. My thoughts for the day, questions, comments, leave them below. I am going to go back to packing. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.